Mm. Hi guys, welcome back. Today, I am making sweet and sticky spare ribs. Let's go. All right, so I am making spare ribs today. And these are the seasonings I'm going to be putting them on. You guys really need to try the OSMO seasonings. They are awesome. And you make sure season them really well. And then I'm gonna throw a little Worcestershire on. Okay, so this is what they're going to look like once you get your seasonings on. Um, on the Hickory OSMO seasoning, you wanna do about a half a teaspoon on each. And then you're going to add your Worcestershire sauce, a few dashes, and massage them. All right, so now that they're all massaged and ready to go, we're gonna put them in our Instapot. If you do not have an Instapot, you can cook them on 300 for 45 minutes, closed with aluminum foil. But I have the option of my Instapot today, so that's what I'm using. Okay, so now that you have them all in, you're gonna add one 20 ounce can of chunk, pineapple chunks, juice and all. Cause we're gonna be making these into a sticky barbecue Hawaiian spare ribs. So once you get that in, we're gonna put the lid on. Make sure it's latched good and this is closed. And you're gonna come over here and you're gonna make sure it's on pressure cook. And you're gonna turn your knob to 25 minutes and get it going. Now it will take a little while for the steam to build up, but it will start pressurizing once this little piece pops up up here. Okay, so now I've released my air. Now I can add it to my baking sheet and add my sweet and sticky sauce. All right, so while you're releasing your pressure, come over here and make your sauce. I just have some original barbecue sauce. Any brand will work. I do about just by eyeballing it, I do about two cups. Cause you want a lot of barbecue. Now, don't hate me for this, but I didn't have any honey. So I'm using some sugar-free syrup. It also cuts down your sugar intake if you're diabetic or keto. About a half a cup of that. And then you want a few dashes of soy sauce probably just a little under a half a cup and then a little squirt of this chipotle creamy sauce like so and now you're just going to whisk it and this is going to be your sweet and sticky sauce And voila, you have a sticky sauce for your spare ribs. Now there's one more ingredient I'm gonna add, but I gotta get the ribs out before I do that. So this is what your ribs are gonna look like out of your Instapot. Same way for your oven, if you do the oven. So you wanna take a couple small ladles of your pineapple juice and you're gonna add it right in to your sauce. Okay, and then you're going to just whisk it.
All right, so now we're gonna start getting our ribs out. You want them to look about like this. And we have them all on. We put some of the pineapples on here. Now you just wanna start slathering your sauce on. It's my microwave going off. And as this cooks down in the oven, it's gonna get nice and sticky and yummy. I do about two tablespoons on each for starters. And then if I have any sauce left over, I slather it on once I take it out and then I pop it back in again. All right, so now you have that ready to go in the oven. You're gonna have your oven set at 425 and you're gonna let it go for 30 to 45 more minutes, depending on the temp, how it's set on your oven. So about halfway through, go ahead and pull them out and put some more of your sauce on. Make sure you get it everywhere. Oh, looks like I got a little pineapple in there. All right, so once you do that, you're gonna pop them back in the oven for the remainder amount of time. Okay, so this is going to be your final step of your spare ribs, your sweet and sticky spare ribs. You're going to slather them for the third time with some sauce. You're basically just using your sauce up, and the more sauce you add, the stickier it gets. And by adding it in layers, it comes out super sticky. It sticks better to your spare ribs, I guess I should say. So there you go. Now you're gonna put it back in your 425 degree oven for 15 more minutes and then your ribs will be done. And there you have it, your sweet and sticky ribs spare ribs to be exact look at that I think I'm gonna dig in anybody else want a bite 